everybody and welcome to Jeff's Baking Blog. Today I'm going to make some individual coconut tarts. Uh, a nice uh, soft crumbly flaky pastry filled with a coconut filling. Um, it's quite a simple recipe but there are a few steps to it so um, and it doesn't take very long uh, but uh, they should be very very tasty. So the ingredients are and I'll do the, the ingredients for the filling first. I have uh, 100 grams, which is one and a quarter cups of desiccated coconut. I have 60 millilitres of milk at room temperature. I have uh, 28 grams, two tablespoons of uh, unsalted butter, which I've melted and it's cooling down. I have 65 grams, uh, one third of a cup, of caster sugar. I have one uh, medium egg which would be large in the USA and that's at room temperature too. I have one teaspoon of vanilla extract. I have eight grams of uh, which is one tablespoon of custard powder but if you can't get custard powder you could easily u just use plain flour. The, the custard powder has a vanilla uh, flavour to it so it's going to add a little bit of flavour uh, and it will act as a thickener and the plain flour will do the thickening for you as well. So you could use that instead. And then I have half a teaspoon of baking powder and a pinch of salt. So I'm going to put those over there to one side. And for the pastry, I have 130 grams uh, of plain flour, which is one cup. I have one medium egg yolk, large in the USA, that's at room temperature. I have 25 grams two tablespoons of caster sugar, I have half a teaspoon of vanilla extract and I have uh, 75 grams which is a third of a cup of softened butter so that's very soft indeed and that's what I need. So the first thing I'm going to do is to make the pastry and for that we put the um, butter and the sugar into the bowl now I'm using caster sugar, you could use granulated sugar if you don't have caster sugar, that would be fine. And I'll put the sugar in with the butter and I'm going to mix that to get it all combined. That's good. Then I'm going to add the egg yolk and mix that until it's all combined as well. And then the vanilla extract can go in as well. And finally, the flour. Now we do not want to over mix this. Um, that would just make the pastry tough. So I'm just going to work it until it's just about come together. So that's come together quite nicely and what I'm going to do is to, I'm going to put that into some plastic wrap and chill it in the fridge for 30 minutes.
and that is all we have to do with that. So that's going to go into the fridge for 30 minutes and then um, we'll come back and we'll make the filling and we'll also uh, put this into our pastry cases uh, ready for baking. So I'll be back with you in 30 minutes when this is chilled. So the pastry has chilled for 30 minutes and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it into um, eight pieces and I think hopefully I should get about eight out of it and I'm going to use these little um, tins, tart tins uh, for mine but you could easily do them in a bun pan like this which is quite shallow and quite wide and you put the pastry in and then put the coconut filling in that would work just as well so what I'm going to do is to take um, the dough, form it into a bit of a ball and put it into the tin and then I'm going to push it with my thumb until I've got it all around the sides like that so um, if you have any excess on the top just cut it off like that and then I'm going to chill those in the fridge um, while we get on to make our filling and at the same time I'll preheat the oven to uh, 190 celsius that's 170 celsius with a fan 350 fahrenheit then uh, by the time we've made the filling the oven will be preheated and we can bake we can fill the the cases and bake them so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the coconut the sugar the custard powder or plain flour and the baking powder and the salt into a bowl and I'm just going to give that a stir around with a whisk just to get everything sort of mixed in a little bit and then I'll set that to one side and then what I'm going to do is to put the milk, the egg, the melted butter and the vanilla extract into a bowl and I'm going to whisk those to get them combined. I just scrape out the remaining butter And then with that whisked, I'm simply going to pour that into the desiccated coconut mixture and mix it around until it's all combined. So that's ready as soon as the oven is heated we'll fill our cases and we'll bake them so the oven is preheated um, and I've taken the cases out of the fridge and I've filled most of them I've just left one more and I'm going to take 
a good heaped teaspoon of our mixture and just put it in there like that and then I'm going to put them into the oven and bake them for 20 minutes or until the top has turned a nice golden brown and I can see that they're cooked. Then I take them out and let them cool down for a few minutes, uh, maybe about 10 minutes in the, the moulds before I take them out of the moulds and I'll come back and show you the results. So I baked our coconut tarts and this is what they look like. So nicely cooked on the bottom. Um, I baked them for 20 minutes. I left them for 10 minutes then I take, took them out of the, the tin um, and uh, they look very nice inside as well so I'll have a taste. have a nice coconut flavour to them and the pastry is nice and tender. I can actually taste a little bit of um, the vanilla flavour coming through from the custard as well. So these are very very good uh, and they're quite easy to make. As I said you can do them in a bun tin um, like this and so you would just um, you could roll the pastry out and cut it out and put it in the tin or you can just uh, use your fingers to press it in and mould it into the tin. That would work quite well as well. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed the recipe and if you have please give me the thumbs up below the video and click to subscribe to my YouTube channel. In the top right hand corner of the screen there would be an eye that you can click on uh, which would take you to the recipe and I'll put a link to it below the video as well. Then I'll be back with another recipe in the very near future. So until then, happy baking.